I'm making Lebanese pizza, a really delicious recipe full of all of those great Arabic flavors like hummus, roasted aubergines, and smoked paprika. So to start off with, I'm gonna make the pizza base. And I'm using a white bread mix, which saves all of the hassle of the weighing and measuring. That just goes straight into a stand mixer, and then just start the motor going, and then gradually add some tepid water. And then for a bit of richness, some extra virgin olive oil. That just needs to knead for a few minutes, but if you're doing it by hand, take about seven or eight minutes of kneading. So at the end of that, you'll have a lovely, soft, stretchy dough. So I'm just going to take a baking sheet. So just pat the dough into a rough rectangle. And then you use a rolling pin just to flatten the dough out to a large rectangle, just slightly bigger than the baking sheet. Now, this sheet's non-stick, but if you don't have a non-stick tray, just brush a little bit of oil over it before you put the dough on. And then just crimp the edge inwards. So if you pinch and turn, and what this is doing is going to create a really nice crust to grab a hold of, but also a rim that's going to hold all the ingredients in as the pizza bakes. Next, brush all of the dough with some extra virgin olive oil to really crisp it up as it bakes. Now, next up, some hummus. Just use a spoon just to spread that hummus across the base. And then for some smoked paprika over the top. Just use a little sieve to dust it over. And then for a bit of sweetness, some red onion. And then next up, I've got some aubergines. So I've just roasted these off in the oven, a little bit of olive oil on them. And you can overlap them slightly because they'll shrink back a little bit as the pizza cooks. And then brush with a little bit more olive oil. That's going to help everything crisp up as it bakes and then finish with a sprinkle of dried oregano. And then that goes into the oven at 220 degrees for 20 minutes. And I'm just gonna finish off the toppings. I'm gonna to take a pomegranate. So if you just run a knife around the top, just cutting through to the seeds, but no further, and just peel back the top. You see how these five sections that run down like this. So if you take to the knife, and run along each of those to the base. Just loosen up that top section, pull it out, and then each of these will fold open, a bit like a flower, and just makes it much easier to peel off the seeds that you need. And you don't get juice everywhere. I was gonna grab the pizza out of the oven. It's looking great already. I'm just gonna finish it off with some feta. Just crumble that all over the top. And then some pine nuts, and then pomegranate seeds over the top. So you've got some really intensely savoury flavours in there, so that pomegranate's going to give you little pops of sweetness just to cut through everything. And then that goes back in the oven just for another 10 minutes. Then it's going to make a little yoghurt dipping sauce to serve alongside the pizza. Finally chop some red chilli, and then some mint, and add it to some yoghurt. So stir that together to combine, and that is ready to serve alongside the pizza. There we are, look at that. That feta's just started to melt, turn golden on the edges. Pine nuts have toasted beautifully, and you've got all those lovely toppings underneath. Just leave that for a minute, cut it up into wedges, and serve with the yogurt sauce. Now for more great recipes like this, click on subscribe.